So we have a friend. We have this one friend who uh, he's very homophobic, uh, but he's also very uh, large. He's built like a like a shit brick house. He doesn't like guys touching him. Um, two of my roommates, uh, who at the time were much bigger than him, decided to hold him down and just touch his dick. Yeah, Contact yeah, and then call him gay. You were one of those kids that immediately <laughs> denied things, weren't you? You were one of those kids who sit there at slumber parties and you're like, you ever think about penises? And you're just like, yeah, I really like those. And they're like, no. And you're like, yeah, me neither. You're gay. But it gets better because his two of the roommates here decided to buy him a dildo, a little pink dildo uh, with a suction cup so they could stick it onto the front of his, uh, of his truck uh, so that he would have to take it off or just leave it there. The problem with that is that they never got around to doing that. They just decided to keep it around the house. So upstairs, there's a pink dildo attached to the wall. We'll ever Guys, I'm... You know? Guys, I'm being asked to go find the dildo. <laughs> you, you know what my favorite part about <clears throat> casting with Alex is he makes a ton of noise. Um, his microphone picks up fucking everything and his squeaky ass chair. <laughs> and he likes to drop and hit things when he moves around. So I found the dildo like this. It's, uh, it's, it's a Christmas it's, dildo. It's festive. <laughs> it's fest a, fest a festive Christmas dildo. Well, I'm kind of glad that Nick started talking because we're immediately going to be <sighs> taken down. Take dicks on the wall. If okay. if Alex starts filleting anything, there is a quite a, some encouragement for uh, Alex to put the dildo in his mouth. Uh, I'm going to say right now we should veto that. That's not something that should be. Uh... It's not off the table um, before the end of this, um, although. I know where he has put it in the past. Um, Today on what are you trying to say, Alex? Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the house, still now. I love it. <laughs> what happens next on on Alex's roommates all share the same dildo? You have to use. The dildo after they're done with it. That, that is the deal. Yeah, that's how it works. It's the house dildo. In the chat here, uh, wanting to talk about things that women do that drive you crazy. Yeah, Alex, a single man. The, the first one that immediately comes to mind is, where do you want to eat? I don't care. I don't, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's up to you. It's like, all right, let's go to Taco Bell. I don't want Taco Bell. Well, I mean, that's that's fairly reasonable. That's, that's, a, that's a quite example. a normal reaction, Alex. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's like, all right, let's go to Outback Steakhouse. No, I don't want that. Literally, the, the thing that, that bothers me the most is just indecisiveness, which this is coming from the guy that, uh, that whenever he goes to Subway, he asks the person that's there to surprise him. Yeah, you're the most indecisive person that I know. They, they have been labeled a sandwich artist. And Alex it's likes like, them to use all the colors on their palette. I like to, I like to give them full creative control. Like, I, I wish I could be the artist who just makes you a mayo sub and then just charges you. <laughs> charges you for a cold so cut. I would, do, I would do no bread, double meat, tuna, <laughs> with extra pepper, and uh, eggs, whites. <laughs> I will literally eat. I, I can't say that. I will eat most things. I will literally eat most things. I will literally eat most things. Most things. Things. Here's your sandwich there. <laughs> you literally eat anything. Well, Alex. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a cock meat sandwich if you've ever gotten one, man. Yeah, man. Take a, take a bite. Come on. Take a bite. You're actually eating your bread around the dildo. <laughs> I think that's a very, uh... What kind of a bun is that? They didn't even give you the good bread for your dildo sandwich.